So here is the coral polyp model that I'm going to rig and animate in this lecture. And this is in Maya 2015. And this model was actually originally created in ZBrush. So if we take a look at the ZBrush model, here it is in ZBrush at the lowest uh, subdivision level and at the highest subdivision level, you can see I have uh, some more details sculpted into it. So I, I created this model using techniques uh, similar to the ones that I demonstrated in the Corals 1 Modeling and Rendering Organic Structures in ZBrush and Photoshop Branching Coral lecture that I created for Clarify.com. So if you want to know more about uh, the ZBrush techniques I used for making this, check out that lecture. We're going to spend most of our time in this lecture in Maya talking about rigging. Uh, so there's a few things I wanted to make sure of when I made this model. I'm going to select it here and press the 1 key to turn off Smooth Mesh Preview. And if we zoom in, I just wanted to show you that the model itself is very low density. So I used very few polygons, which will make it nice and easy to uh, rig and bind to a skeleton here in Maya. And also it will make it uh, faster to animate. If the model is too dense or there's too many polygons, it makes the, uh, the animation process very slow and somewhat tedious. Uh, the other thing I did was I wanted to make sure that around the mouth opening here for the polyp that I have edge loops. In other words, I have loops of edges that form kind of circular bands around the mouth area. And that will make it much easier to deform if I wanted to create like a blend shape to have the mouth open and close and also make it uh, deform a little bit better and appear a little bit better in the render. So those are the two main things that I was thinking of when I created this polyp model. And if we take a look in the uh, UV texture editor, you can see I also have UV texture coordinates for the model as well so that I can apply textures created from the high resolution details in ZBrush.